A blow-off valve BOV, dump valve or compressor bypass valve CBV, is a pressure release system present in most turbocharged engines. Its main purpose is to take the load off the turbocharger when the throttle is suddenly closed. Characteristics <laughs> 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 A compressor bypass valve CBV, also known as a pressure relief valve or diverter valve, is a manifold vacuum actuated valve designed to release pressure in the intake system of a turbocharged vehicle when the throttle is lifted or closed. This air pressure is recirculated back into the non-pressurized end of the intake before the turbo, but after the mass airflow sensor. A blow-off valve, sometimes Hooter valve or BOV, performs the same task but releases the air into the atmosphere instead of recirculating it. This type of valve is typically an aftermarket modification. The blow-off action produces a range of distinctive hissing sounds, depending on the exit design. Some blow-off valves are sold with a trumpet-shaped exit that intentionally amplifies the sound. Some turbocharged vehicle owners may purchase a blow-off valve solely for the auditory effect even when the function is not required by normal engine operation. Motorsports governed by the FIA have made it illegal to vent unmuffled blow-off valves to the atmosphere. Blow-off valves are used to prevent compressor surge, a phenomenon that readily occurs when lifting off the throttle of an unvented, turbocharged engine. The sound produced is called turbo flutter, the slang term. Choo choo is sometimes used. When the throttle plate on a turbocharged engine closes, with the turbine spinning at high speed, the flow reduces beyond the surge line of the compressor. At this point, the delta P across the compressor reduces, leading to a collapse in flow and possibly even flow reversal and a collapse in plenum pressure. As the compressor is still spinning at high speed, once the flow has reduced sufficiently, delta P across the compressor begins to rise and flow is re-established into the plenum. This continues until once again the plenum is pressurized and flow begins to fall until the surge line is again crossed and the cycle repeats. This unstable flow leads to the cyclic noise sometimes heard on high boost engines with no bypass valve. With a valve fitted, flow is maintained preventing the compressor entering the stall – surge cycle. The repeated, high-speed cycling will cause a cyclic torque on the compressor and may lead to increased stresses on the bearings and compressor impeller. <laughs> Operation A blow-off valve is connected by a vacuum hose to the intake manifold after the throttle plate. When the throttle is closed, the relative manifold pressure drops below atmospheric pressure and the resulting pressure differential operates the blow-off valve's piston. The excess pressure from the turbocharger is then vented into the atmosphere or recirculated into the intake upstream of the compressor inlet. Disadvantages In the case where a mass airflow sensor MAF is used and is located upstream from the blow-off valve, the engine control unit AQ will inject excess fuel because the atmospherically vented air is not subtracted from the intake charge measurements. The engine then briefly operates with a fuel-rich mixture after each valve actuation. The rich mixing can lead to hesitation or even stalling of the engine when the throttle is closed, a situation that worsens with higher boost pressures. Occasional events of this type may be only a nuisance, but frequent events can eventually foul the spark plugs and destroy the catalytic converter, as the inefficiently combusted fuel produces soot excess carbon and unburned fuel in the exhaust flow can produce soot in the converter and drive the converter beyond its normal operating temperature range. An alternative method for utilizing both a MAF and a blow-off valve is to have the MAF located downstream between the intercooler and the throttle plate. This is known as blow-through rather than the traditional draw-through setup. Care must be taken as to the position of the MAF to prevent damage to the sensitive element. 
For example, on a SR20DET engine, the MAF must be at least 12 inches (300 mm) from the throttle plate, and the blow-off valve must be 6 inches (150 mm) from the MAF sensor. By using a blow-through method, the MAF won't be affected by the blow-off valve opening as the pressure is vented before the air reaches the MAF. One approach used to mitigate the problem has been to reduce the boost pressure, which reduces the required venting volume and yields less charge over calculation by the AQ. The air can also be recirculated back into the intake, a typical stock setup for cars with an upstream MAF sensor. The situation can also be corrected by switching the fuel metering system over to a manifold absolute pressure sensor, a conversion that usually requires a compatible aftermarket AQ or piggy back fuel controller. The MAP sensor monitors the absolute pressure in the manifold at all times and will correctly detect the change that occurs when the valve vents, allowing the AQ to reduce fuel metering accordingly. Topic. See also Wastegate Water hammer